track reviews. Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. You know who it is, and it is time for a track review. Lil Uzi Vert, he has a new single out. It's titled New Patek, and uh, it's coming from his forthcoming record, Eternal Ata Atake, which you guys might remember I talked about a little earlier this year because his cover art on the record angered the Heaven's Gate cult. New record on the way, new single out. Hopefully uh, it's great. Hopefully it's a taster of what is to come. It's five minutes long, so kind of lengthy for Uzi, uh, especially considering that he's he's all on his own on this one. So maybe some kind of beat switch or something on this track. You know, it's five minutes of material. It's a lot for, uh, for one man to handle on his own. And a production by Dolan Beats. So with all that being said, Everything uh, that we need to know. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try, and, uh, and see see what's going on. New pet tech, but ba bam. Yeah, just felt like an average little Uzi Vert track for me. It it sucks because he's one of these rappers out right now that I can see clearly how he's influenced some younger rappers that I like or some rappers who have put out projects recently that I like. I can see that he has his own distinct style. When I hear an Uzi song, I know I'm listening to Uzi, but the issues I've had with his songs in the past, save for a few tracks, like off of Love is a Rage 2, obviously uh, Love Exo Tour Life, that's a great song too. But save for those few tracks, I feel like with this new song over here, this new single, I'm running into a lot of the same issues that I've had with Uzi's music in the past. I just don't really care for the strained, nasally tone that his voice has typically, and I feel like it's uh, super pronounced on this particular cut over here. I just find it really obnoxious. And instead of making me kind of get excited or just kind of chill and relax and enjoy the song, it puts me on edge in a really annoying way that uh, just makes it difficult for me to get into what he's doing. And there are rappers and singers out there currently who do equally weird things with their voice, uh, Playboy Cardi, freaking Young Thug, but I just feel like with Uzi, there's not a whole lot of vocal versatility. He just doesn't ease up off of that gas pedal all that much and gives us, I don't know, some different vocal tones, a bit more melody. He does have some decent flows on this track when he speeds it up, although um, there were some moments in the third verse where it felt like he wasn't as on tempo as he could have been. Uh, lyrically, the track is okay. He has some funny one-liners here and there, though again, I think his flows and I think his delivery kind of distract away from any appeal that his lyrics might be bringing to the table on this track. And even though there are some lines on here that I think are funny like that, um, I don't know, I need water to breathe, so I put... Uh, ice on my tentacles. I'm like, I'm like an octopus. That line I thought was pretty funny. Um, but outside of that, uh, the, you, you have some lines on here that sort of counteract uh, those moments, like the uh, spot on the hook when he's uh, saying, have a shower, you might stink. And I just don't really care for this, this flow. He draws up these really tight, repetitive flows on a lot of his tracks that to me just get really repetitive and stale very fast, especially on this song, which, as I mentioned earlier, it's five minutes and 43 seconds, which is pretty long for an Uzi Vert song. Not a whole lot of Uzi Vert tracks go up to that length. And uh, me personally, I, I really felt it. I really felt it because the it really did kind of get on my nerves after a little while. And as I had crossed my fingers for earlier, uh, no major musical or instrumental switch ups on this track either. Uh, just an intro chorus, a lot of choruses, uh, some lengthy verses that didn't really have that much lyrically that was stunning me, you know? Um, yeah, my boys on the block selling O's, no Cheerios. Uh, the Naruto shout out was pretty funny. Mostly a lot of brags about just uh, designers that he's wearing, what's on his wrist, uh, people biting his style, which uh, of course I give him that because there are a lot of people biting his style. 
Uh, I just happen to think that there are other artists out there who share artistic commonalities with him or have built off of what he's done and are just a bit more versatile with it or are writing songs with catchier choruses. Um, I think Uzi Vert certainly has an aesthetic, you know, and, and that's the thing. It's an aesthetic that I don't mind sometimes that I like, uh, but I don't think he's as strong a songwriter as some of his contemporaries are. So as a result of that, I just continue to have issues with uh, enjoying his stuff. I didn't find this song to be as obnoxious or as grating as some of my least favorite Uzi Vert tracks, but it's uh, by no means a, a favorite of mine in his discography. But having said all that, I've never really kind of gotten 100% into the Uzi Vert hype outside of a few tracks. So I guess take what I'm saying here with a, a, a grain of salt. So Uzi Vert, new Patek. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the track in the comments. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that is it. Cool? Cool. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Uzi Vert, New Pet Tech, forever.